In a world of tweets and text, email, and instant messaging. That's cool. That's edited way too fast. Are we communicating any better? Is it modern technology with the effects on both business and society? There's a lot of spyware out there. It sneaks into your system, follows you wherever you may go. Listen to Knowledge Talk. Knowledge, knowledge Talk. The show that said it all with your host, Tarek al Tuesdays at 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Emotion. Global. Face it and talk it through. A knowledge talk. Knowledge talk. That's what'll get me to buy a smartphone. Or a wearable computer. Or a website that finally puts me in the driver's seat. No, no, no. Every week here on the Nation Station Radio, South of Oman, 90.4 FM. Assalamualaikum, good afternoon, and welcome to Knowledge Talks. A weekly entertainment and knowledge sharing program aired live specifically to share with you topics that contribute knowledge to the society. Every week, Knowledge Talks hosts and invites guests that are experts, professionals, and leaders from the field that bring wealth of knowledge to you. Knowledge Talks also highlights and promotes talents in the country that contribute knowledge and success to the nation. This program, ladies and gentlemen, is a weekly session that I will have with you on every Tuesday at 5 p.m. I'm your host, Tariq Halal Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Ayoub, with you for an hour, bringing you free knowledge tips on Omar Raj FM 90.4. Okay, stay tuned after this music break for today's interesting knowledge topic. You're listening to Radio Sultanate of Oman on your favorite radio station, 90.4 FM. Welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tariq Hilal Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Ayyub, with you here live today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. From working at an early age of 14 years old, exposed to being an adult and taking responsibility, fighting her way up to the corporate and life ladder amid his personal and and professional challenges and today ladies and gentlemen proven to women that everyone can do it Aisha Salim Al-Shu'ili her motto awake the giant within you has done it all today Aisha is a springboard trainer mentor and hip hypnotherapist and public speaker trains and inspires many other women how to overcome life challenges now what would it take to succeed in your life what does it mean to be successful how to overcome life challenges and how to prove to the world that women can do it oh yes ladies and gentlemen women can do it Today, Aisha Shu'eli will be sharing with us her life journey, challenges, and today, a success, who is a successful trainer who makes success out of women, mashaAllah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Aisha. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank it, you for having me. It, it, is, it is, I should be saying thank you for, uh, for coming here on, on air, Aisha. MashaAllah, you have... A very good brand you have a very big respect to a lot of women uh, out there masha Allah if, if you know when, when people give a lot of examples of personalities I can give you an example of saying mother Teresa and we have a mother Teresa and and Aisha is one and that's because of <laughs> masha Allah you. your humbleness your charmness your sweetness and your character to many people uh, that you have impacted already, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. You know, if I were to write to speak about you, I mean, I would need to write a book, by the way. Uh, I've got that suggestion, so. Oh, my is, yeah. is, is, it, is it work in progress? Uh, inshallah, you never know. Uh, please let me, let me review you. it, please. Please let me review. I would like to be one of the reviews as well. <laughs> inshallah. How inshallah. are you doing today, Aisha? Alhamdulillah. Aisha, now I know about your stories, I know about the challenges that you've gone through. Uh, uh, and a number of people know about it, but today I do not want to be uh, 
a bit selfish and you know make 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 I'm the only one who knows about it or a few people but let whole people in Oman know about it and also learn about it so tomorrow they could overcome the challenges as well could you please share with us about your journey Aisha where do I start wow that's interesting <laughs> um well uh, you did the introduction pretty well so thank you very much I feel pretty important now Um I did start working at a very very early age I was 14 at the time mashallah and I remember having the interview uh, with a 60 year old british woman okay and 60 years old yeah she was okay. 60 mashallah and very mature and everything and after the interview she was like how old are you and I told her I was 14 she said oh my goodness is this legal and I said of course you know not that I knew whether it was legal or not about uh, child labor but I said yes why not She said I don't know I'm a bit scared you know uh, you know only 14 you're just a kid okay. okay so I told her let's make a deal okay, okay. take me for three days okay. and after three days if you're not happy with my performance just tell me to get out and I'm not going to ask you anything I love that so after three days I was keeping my fingers crossed inshallah inshallah I got this I got this you know I just had that voice inside me yeah. and after three days I got a contract Okay. And I lasted there for six years. Mashallah, mashallah. So you started working at the age of 14 years old. Yes. And that was in which company is it? British Council. British Council. And you met a British lady who, who interviewed, interviewed you. Me, yeah. And yeah. she was 60 years old means she has a she has a lot of experience. A lot experience. of experience. A lot, lot of experience. experience. Understands what 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 uh, 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 what business is. Uh, absolutely. She knows that the British Council of course very very well and she saw you going in there and then when you told her you're 14 years old she said No, it is 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 about illegal for you to work yeah. but you ended up working there for six years. Alhamdulillah. Now the question that I have for you is you said to uh the lady uh that uh I will work just please try me. Yeah. For three days. Yeah. And if I'm not good, yeah, fire me. It's okay. Yeah. Just tell me to go and I will not ask you one single question. What can you say about that kind of uh a uh, uh, question that kind of commitment that you asked from them? You know, at the end of the day I was still a child. Okay. Very much a child. Yeah. But there was this inner voice that said, "You know what? You can do this." I love that. And I said it. I said it without thinking, um without asking anyone. I just felt, you know, with my gut feeling go for it and I did it. And I couldn't believe actually I was quite surprised when I got the offer letter. Okay. And uh You know, I was over the moon. You know, mashallah, like, mashallah. And, I, and, and they did invest a lot in me. So I was training, I was studying. And I've learned so much from my first job. Mashallah, yeah. mashallah. What yeah. were you doing? So my first job was as a receptionist. Okay. And then I moved to uh, administration. Okay. And then somehow uh, I started becoming more people-orientated, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So let me tell you a bit. I, I mean, I've currently I host lots of events and I do stuff like that. Mashallah. But I can I show you my first event was not a success at all. Okay. So I had a pr- presentation on British Council. Okay. I entered the room. Okay? Okay. I looked at everybody. What age were you? Uh my first presentation I was 15. Okay. Yeah. Mashallah. So mashallah. I I went in and I looked at everybody and walked out the room. Okay. okay. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, that was this a very big place. this was a big ouch. I just couldn't speak. <laughs> I couldn't say anything. I was speechless. So you know what I took another challenge and said oh my god what did I do you know people are looking at me and uh I couldn't speak I couldn't say anything so I took another challenge to say you know what I will break this okay and I did break it from doing my first presentation where I was speechless and my heart was racing like crazy to hosting an event to about 2000 people for the second time mashallah mashallah that's wonderful yeah, yeah. Two things here I've got to learn from you. Number one is when you went and worked uh, when you started working at the age of 14 years old, people might say no, I can't work less than for 18 years old, but you give an example. No, I can work. Yeah. Someone can work yeah. as long as he or she has the skills, of but course. not only that, but also are confident and can deliver. Yeah. Many people today go to an organization I just want to listen from you Aisha is that they go to organization and uh, the wadifa I'm looking for a job and then they want some salaries mm, but mm. for you it was not about salary no? because you said take me for yeah. three days yeah. and if I'm not good let yeah. me go yeah. and you don't need to give me anything is that yeah. right yeah well I mean you know you don't need to tell me why you want to find me yeah. but, uh, but I mean let's face it you know people do work for money yeah and at, at, at a young age I had to work for money uh taking up responsibility and so on but um, you know it was it wasn't about money as such as i wanted to do something for myself 
Yes, because, I love that. Because my father uh, was a pusher in a way that, okay. you know, you are grown up, you can do things your way because he grew up pretty much himself. Mashallah. So Mashallah. I guess, you know, I should thank uh, my father Mashallah. for pushing me that way. Allah is but that But you are 14 years old. Uh-huh. So he pushed you at the age of 14 years old. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do the same thing for Dania, by the way. <laughs> so, I mean, when she is 14 years old, I'm going to push her. And then if she doesn't listen to me, say go to Aisha. Yeah, that... <laughs> There are different circumstances, <laughs> obviously. But, you know, his challenge, uh, um, his har- harshness, in a way, has uh, made me the woman that I am today. Okay. So yeah. do you think that parents need to be harsh to their uh, uh, ch- children? Or if I'm looking at women, women? It's not... You know, you have different characters, right, Tariq? So you have someone who doesn't know how to give you love because they've grown up that way. You, uh, they don't know how to have a communication. Uh, I mean, you are a motivational speaker and you coach a lot of people, so you have all the techniques. Mm-hmm. Now, our ancestors or parents during that time, what did you know? They just knew that okay, I bring up a child and you know she has an education if she doesn't have an education uh, she can be independent or get married for example mm. so for my father he was very educated and everything but mm. i mean he was also um, i guess he was very straightforward that life uh, you can manage life yourself just like he managed life himself yep. he didn't push me to go and work but that was my choice yep. Yep. Uh, i find a lot of teenagers at the moment they say you know i um, nobody f- feels me nobody understands me but I could think for myself at that age. So I'm not quite sure when teenagers say... So it say depends on a ca- one absolute, character to another? Absolutely. Yeah. Some people are born with the leadership skills. Yeah. I see you one. Alhamdulillah. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you should ask my dad because he used to always say... I used to celebrate my birthday like literally every day. Okay? Uh, every day birthday? Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's a long story. Happy but birthday <laughs> today too. <laughs> As well, yes. <laughs> So my father keeps on saying that, you know, she, there was a lead in my daughter. Um, I used to celebrate my birthday every day and invite all the kids around the neighbor. And whenever I used to walk around, they used to walk around with me. Yeah, so he's like, you know, I see a lead in her. So if he believed in me then, and when he talks about it now, he still laughs and cries at the same time because I have that effect on people. But <laughs> uh, uh, how many siblings do you have? Uh, we are 12, alhamdulillah. And you are the? I'm the eldest. Mashallah. So it makes sort of sense. Yes, it does make sense. Uh, I don't know. Maybe one has to do a research or if there's a research that is made. Uh, I have an elder sister. I want you to, I want to introduce you to her. Her name is Zainab. Inshallah. And uh, she, she has that. She's a leader in our yes, yes. family. She's got that. Ca- so circumstances skills. make you circumstances make you and and you think parents uh, play a role in nurturing that skill in well some parents do some parents do and sometimes circumstances make you grow before your time okay okay Marshall, where would you put yourself in i think a bit of both a bit of both but more of aisha more of aisha yeah and when you say more of aisha which is which is i i took my decisions okay uh, it was my choice uh, to do what i did then okay. to do what i'm doing now and Mashallah. to do what I want to do later. Mashallah. Yeah. I can tell you something uh, uh, from a personal uh, experience, Aisha, is uh, the people that know you who also know me from friends and relatives as well, they speak very high about you. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. They, 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 when we sit and talk in you to the Aisha, and that's why I said I have to invite you to Allah this program Allah. because of the Thank you so much. Tell us some of the most exciting challenges uh, and incidents that have happened in your life. Okay. Um, I remember when I told you about hosting events, right? Yes. So uh, I had a client and they asked me to host an event and all my entertainers for that particular th- day, which was the following day, decided not to come for some reason. One was sick or one had an emergency. All the somebody. entertainers? Yeah. yeah. I, had I mean, couple. the supporters. Yeah, you have to say. yeah. So I had like face painters, DJs and stuff like that, you know. Okay. And, oh, and I was hosting the event. Okay. So, so they called me and mm-hmm. I didn't know what to do. I don't have entertainers and I have this big client tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? What should I should do? What do you think I did? Mm -hmm. I don't have entertainers. What do you think? So I had, I had a choice to either cancel my event or. So it's a big client. Was this your first time? Uh, No, I had other events, but this was the first. So, I mean, that's why more or less I knew how to act, but this is the first thing. So what I did, my dear friend was I created my own crew. Okay, wow. And my own crew consisted of my brother, wow. who at the time had some DJ business. So I said, you're going to be the DJ. Mm-hmm. I had two of my brothers and sisters who I dressed them as clowns. <laughs> and I had a sister who was good with henna. So I told her, you will do the henna painting and stuff like that. 
and I hosted the event. And it took me a whole night, 24 hours, to train them, to brief them. And they were only little kids, you know, at, at the time. I was, I mean, I was already very young and they were also very little. What age were you? Um, I was 19. You were 19? 19. And that, uh, you, were, you were doing events for companies already? Yes, yes. And then uh, you knew about the entertainers or the team that yeah. you were working with yeah. could not make it at Couldn't night itself? Couldn't make it, no. No, they called me a day before the event. A day before, was yeah. it at night in the morning? Uh, morning. So I had like 24 hours to work uh, through this. I told my sister, okay, this is your henna cones, mm. this is your face painting, this is the costume for the clown. And, you know, and I did it. I actually pulled it off with my brothers and sisters. Mashallah, 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 mashallah. So, you know, obstacles are the invention, are the mother of all inventions. Mm. When you are actually in a situation, all you need to do is really push yourself to come with some creative idea. I love that. I love that. That's another advice, ladies and gentlemen, from Aisha, who is making great strides, mashallah, here in the Sultanate with her sessions, which we're going to talk about it later in the program today. But of course, first for you to learn about what she had gone through in her life to where she is today. I know you work for a, a, a company and then in that company as well. I've learned, mashallah, uh, of the great things and the events that because you are involved, you made it happen. And why? Because of uh, the way you have been brought up. You were young. You started for 14 years old. And then you, you grew up. And then that's when the challenge you had within 19, 19 years old. So that itself self says it. But if I ask you a question is, do you believe that anything that you have learned in your childhood will play a role uh, in the organization that you work for or in the projects that you do? Absolutely. You know, I mean, if you forget your history, then... You're nobody, really. You have to remember where you came from. Okay. Yeah. And for me, uh, whatever I went through, whether there were challenges, the roller coaster, there were spices of life. They have made me the person that I am. Mashallah. Maybe the, um, many of the choices I made were not correct at that time, but now I understand what I should do. Mashallah. What is your definition of a successful woman, <clears throat> by the way? A successful woman is a woman who knows exactly what she wants. Okay. And I can assure you it's not easy to reach to that stage. When you come to that stage, the sound you need to make is this. Aha, uh -huh. this is what I need to do. When you stop just being dragged on what people want you to do, what people think you should do, then you have found yourself. And this is something that I've really discovered just recently, by the way, that you do have a purpose. We didn't just come in this world to pay bills, raise our kids, go to work and die. We came here to put a footprint. Mashallah. We came to leave a legacy. Mashallah. Now the biggest target for you is to identify what is the legacy that I want to leave. I love that. I respect that. Yeah. Yeah. So human beings need to think about that. Absolutely. All yeah. the time. Some people, you know, think that, wait, I'll do it tomorrow, nope. one week, or when I'm a little bit older, or when I have a little bit knowledge, when I have a tools, yeah. Oscar said, but you don't think that is it. Absolutely. I mean, yesterday was history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a present. I love that. So you live for today, you ask yourself questions, because, you know, the world we live in is not the final destination, Sahih. right? Sahih. There's, you know, a much higher power, and we'll be questioned then, what have you done with your time? That's very, very true. Yeah. As a woman, what are the biggest challenges women encounter in Oman and Arab world, in your, in your, in your opinion? And having worked with many women uh, and guided and mentored, as I know you are. Okay, from my experience and the women I worked with, the biggest challenges women have are, is really themselves. Uh -huh. In what sense? So if you don't believe in yourself, you can't really expect for others to believe in you. If you don't believe in yourself. So believing in yourself is the first. Absolutely. Uh, how do women go about believing themselves? Well, uh, depends on their values, what, what matters to them. Okay. I mean, I'll t if you're talking about stories, okay. I grew up uh, literally being a loner, you know, so working on my own, studying on my own and whatever the case is. So my biggest mission was to basically give love, care for people and so on. So at, at that tender age, till now, this is really my mission, is to give what I couldn't get at a certain time of my life. So I know exactly what my purpose is. Mm. And when you read there is uh, Awake the Giant Within, everybody has that. Everybody has a giant within them. They have it. Sometimes all they need is just a little push. 
Yeah. But you have to believe in yourself, otherwise you can't expect people. You have to love yourself, otherwise people won't see that love and won't give it back to you. Now I understand why we all love you. I need to start <laughs> loving myself now. You see <laughs> Aisha passing by. That's Aisha. We all love her. That's love, love, so that's love, 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 love. I'm going to start loving myself now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a quick break before we return with our interesting session today with Aisha Shuaili. I'm having an exciting discussion with you, uh, Aisha. And uh, I can see that, mashallah, uh, with, with the great success that you have achieved today and even with the program that you are uh, uh, training women out there to become successful, which is the springboard, which yes. we're going to talk about it later in the show today, you have done great. But what I want to know is, how do you personally deal with setbacks? Okay. Um, to be quite honest, it's a hit and miss, right? Uh, you got to go through it a couple of times. And you know what they say, yeah? Uh, practice makes perfect. So mm. even with failures and setbacks, I become perfect at pushing it back. Mashallah. Yeah. So I, in the past, maybe if I didn't know how to deal with my emotions as well, uh, it would have taken me two, three days, weeks to deal with it. But now at this time in my life, I can say quite confidently, I bounce back like immediately. Wow. Yeah. And that's very good. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. So I, I'm really proud that I've reached to that stage. Mashallah, yeah. mashallah. So you believe that uh, people with the setbacks, challenges, issues that are happening, uh, uh, they can deal uh, with it instantly rather than wait, keeping it on their mind. Then you're going to the bed at night, sleeping, dreaming about it maybe. And, you know, not uh, you believe. No, really thank good. you very much for that. You know, uh, uh, the most unrecyclable item in our life is time. Mm -hmm. Why would I waste my valuable time that I will never get thinking about issues? Why? It doesn't make sense. You know, there are things that you can control and there are things you can't control. Okay. So I read uh, Robin Sharma's uh, book. Oh, uh, there's a yeah, nice event. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. I, yeah. There was an event, but I read his book, The, um, the Monk Who f Sold His Ferrari. Yeah. And there was this, um, one of the pages it read about, you know, you need to allocate time to worry. And I absolutely fell in love with that sentence. Yeah. Okay. So I actually allocate time to worry about stuff. So let's <laughs> say one hour I'm going to worry and I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Just take it out of my system and I lock it away. Yeah, you know, there's this this uh, uh, animations or cartoons where you know you got, someone who gets angry and goes very fine and doesn't shout. Ah, yeah, yeah. Is that something yeah, you yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. Or close yourself in a room. Absolutely. And I just I just <laughs> take time to think and worry because yeah. it's really not worth wasting your time which you're not going to get back yeah so you just take the time of a day or any time let's say an hour or an evening and you just sit and say let me do all the things the worry the anger and everything yeah i mean like, it's anger it's whether you want to hit the desk you want to you know <laughs> other stuff you know uh, <laughs> like and it that. works it <laughs> works allocate a time to worry Oh, thank you very much. I try to avoid as much as I can to worry, but from now on, because I take from, from the best and I learn from you, I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply it in life and see how it works. So take a time and, and, and you know, take all the time. If you had tools and advice to share with ladies, what would that be? Oh, I have so many advices, okay. really. Um, but to be honest, as I said first, is that you need to understand what is your purpose. That yeah. is the first and important. You need to understand what is your purpose. You need to love and accept yourself. It's very, very important. Because Maybe. if you don't do it yourself, nobody else. And you have to remember, we are in the world where people do not do much for each other, really, eventually. Mm -hmm. Everybody's nafsi, nafsi. Mm -hmm. Less of. That is it, right? Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. need to have a strategy plan of what if I no longer has a, have a husband? What if I no longer have children, la samahallah? What if, what if, what if? What is your plan B, C, D, E? All the alphabets that you want. Mm. What if is a very, very important question. Yeah. Just like we have in organizations strategy meetings and we have risk management, you need to do that one-to-one -one with yourself. Okay. What is your strategy? What do you want to reach? Where you are now? And, you know, you can scold yourself. You can discipline yourself. And for women out there who he, listen to people who say you can't do it, you know, you just need to be deaf when you hear that. Just shut down and, you know, and just show them that, no, I can actually do it. But when you say that, it's not just by words, but by action. Put your best foot forward and show them that, yes, 
you are able to do. Mashallah, I, I I respect that fully. Ladies and gentlemen, the number to call in is two four six zero two zero five eight. I'll repeat again. That's two four six zero two zero five eight. We just have half an hour, but if there's any question that you would like to ask, in which that uh, in, in each one that that I'm not asking, please call in at two four six zero two zero five eight. If there is one thing you could change from the lifelong journey you had, what would that be, Aisha? Nothing. Okay, you would follow the same thing, the same pattern. Nothing. I just uh, believe you know, in yourself. Believe in myself. You know, uh, you know, listen to my inner voice. Um, you know, and uh, develop myself in a way. And I learned at a very, very, very young age that you got to do it yourself. Okay. Okay, mashallah. Springboard is a program which work, uh, which, which is specifically designed to develop women. Yes. And you are one of the premier, mashallah, in Oman who is training women into springboard. Yes. Now, before, of course, we go to this interesting part, which was, of course, the objective of yeah. this program, yeah. we have a caller online, so we're going to pick a call right now. Hello? Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, hi. Uh, could I ask a question to Aisha? Definitely. Uh, it's very interesting show, by the way. You're Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, well, what is your future plans, my dear? My future plans? Yes. The sky is the limit, my dear. Really? Yes, absolutely. Good luck, my dear friend. And I hope you're going to join me in that journey. Because yeah, I think uh, this voice is very familiar to me. <laughs> I <had> indeed. <laughs> <laughs> best of luck, my best friend. Habibti, Tislamili Arab. Thank you so much for calling. Sharif al Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Masha Allah, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. What you know I like also about you, Aisha, is that not only you train people, you also know the people. That's very, very nice. That itself is a sign of leadership. That itself of a sign of genuity. I mean, you train the people to do good and you know them as well. So you hear the voices, I also know you. I mean, you, I mean I, I fall in love with you with what you're doing. I follow what you do. Now, Springboard, the yes. program that you do. Yes. Tell us about it, please. Okay, it's a women's development program which is uh, led by British Council here in Oman. I've been a trainer for the last six years. MashaAllah. I've trained uh, about uh, six, um, 300 women. Um, it's basically a training that has been de developed by women for women and who best can understand women but women. Uh, no offense, guys, but I mean, that's a hey. fact. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's four sessions uh, spread over three months. Okay. Uh, we cover different things like leadership, presentation skills, uh, work-life balance. And I've added my own twist into the program by encouraging women to, uh, to you know, participate in projects. Uh, so this basically means they can test the skills that they have acquired in the training. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So four sessions. Yeah. Over. Uh, three months. Over three months. Yeah. What are the modules? Uh, so you have, uh, you know, assertiveness, presentation skills. Uh, work life balance, you know, uh, recognizing your values, really, because, uh, you know, we spoke about values. Once you know yes. what is important for you, then you're able to actually drive it through. Okay. Yeah. And who can attend the program? Any woman. Is, there's no age, no nationality, nothing. It's no color. It's just as long as you're a woman, you're welcome to attend. And you recommend women of the age 14 years old to join? Anybody. Yes, Younger, if I've done it, every time. Uh, you know, I've done it. I'm going to pick, pick up a caller online. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, I have a one small question to Aisha, please. Please do. Uh, see, I mean, regarding the women uh, uh, development, I have a suggestion. See, recently we had an election and only one woman succeeded in the uh, election. Yes. Why not to have a reservation and a mandatory in each and every department that women should be employed and should be there by force, like say 10%, 20%, 30%, whether it is Majlis Ushara or a government firm or a ministry, like mm -hmm. it's a mandatory reservation for the women. So automatically they are forced to work and they will develop on the job itself. Yeah, I, I mean, totally you can agree with training, you. No problem, yeah. but training will not give them that kind of confidence which they will get at the at the job itself, you know. Yeah. 
Well, I think your suggestion is absolutely fantastic. And the reason why we are covering this particular module is, uh, you know, I'm not saying that they would go to Majeshura, but what not? Why not, Yani, if this is what they want? But I think your suggestion is quite valid. And I think it would be great if they can actually Im uh, implement it. So let's see after hearing this, most probably next year you'll see more uh, female figures uh, in Majeshura and other, you know, Supreme Courts. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, at least have some kind of percentage of reservation mandatory. And uh, that kind of at least uh, reservation on each and every section and department and ministries and the government side. So yes. it will be like a fair deal on the women's side. They can also develop themselves and it is like uh, some kind of guarantee to a percentage of women that job is existing to them. Here. Absolutely. And we really thank and I'm sure women really are uh, very grateful for this uh, wonderful uh, suggestion. But thank obviously it's not my in my hand. I'm, I'm only a motivational oh. speaker. I can only motivate and inspire and the rest is for the women to decide whether that's what they want to do. But yeah, I but think it's excellent. You can put this as a recommendation Absolutely. to the ministry. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. 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 Your voice will reach. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Thank you. Much. Interesting callers, mashallah. Ladies and gentlemen, the number to call in is 2460-2058. And I have Aisha with me only for another 20 minutes. But you can all have them more than that, of course. With the, with the She will be sharing with her the details on how you can be able to reach her and to the great programs that she does. Now, what made you get into Springboard? Well, you know, sometimes when you go through a lot in your life, okay, and you pray and you talk to Allah... You know, and uh, I think uh, for me, Allah heard uh, my prayers. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So I was uh, a student myself in Springboard. Okay. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I was very inspired by the effect it had on women. Okay. So I decided to apply to be a trainer. So I said, you know, if this is the effect that it has, I would like to have that effect on women. So six years ago, I attended a training. I loved it. I took a training and I was sponsored by British Council at the time. And I became a trainer, and ever since, it's been my life, really, you know. And you have trained how many people? 300. 300, 300, 300 women, mashallah. Yes. Over 300 women yeah. you have trained today, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. And what were their uh, uh, characteristic or situation before the program and after the program, if, if it is something that you can share? Of course, of course. I mean, I've had a lot of women. I would have a lady sometime who would attend four sessions or three sessions. And the last session is the uh, fourth session. She would not say a word in the three sessions, okay? And on the fourth session, she would stand up and say, I've done this, I've done that, I've opened my business, I've decided to finish my education, and I'm just there like, oh my God, where have you been? Yeah, mm. so some people have a voice and make changes immediately after each session, and some people it takes time. But I can assure you, the people that I've had in my life had had a great impact. They've changed uh, work-wise, uh, family, their confidence. I mean, there's something about them even when they talk to people. It's like, what happened to you, you know? Yeah. And for me, alhamdulillah, yani, this is what I want. Uh, yeah. yeah. This when is they come, you feel a sense of achievement. Absolutely. They come to me yeah. and say, Aisha, thank you. You have no idea what have you done. And yeah. that's the impact that I want. And that's bigger than money, bigger than anything. You bigger know? than anything. Just the word. Absolutely. Simple letter word. Thank you only. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. What are the barriers that you have encountered with women you train? And what advice do you have uh, for women in general? Let's see it, Aisha. Okay. In terms of, uh, you know, the barriers or challenges, uh, we are different, right? Uh, every, uh, everybody is affected by something in a different way. So I have women who take action immediately. Okay. After a session, I have people who take action after the sessions, completely after the workshop. It's getting through them. You know, uh, some of them, it's like all they need is just a, a, a nudge, you know, like you can do this and they become something different. And some people take much longer. And to what me, is the reason you think they take much longer? Because they have been under whatever circumstances they have been for too long. Okay. So they have programmed their mind that this is what I deserve. If I'm miserable, I have to be miserable all my life. Yeah, if I'm a failure, I'm a failure all my life, you know. So to reprogram that so they can be a new you or new person, it does take time. And okay. some people, they suddenly start crying. You know? During the program? Yeah, okay. they cry, you know, okay. they cry. And it's like, okay, I just give them the space. What's up? Is it a one-to-one -one program? No, it's a group program. But then, you know, I always tell my girls that, you know, each springboard is a new family. 
خلاص so each group that. we are a family so whatever you know when they say whatever stays whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas so yeah. whatever happens in that springboard workshop stays in that spring uh, springboard workshop okay so mashallah they break up and cry and then they suddenly say i got it now okay Okay, no, no, I love that. And the, how many students uh, a, a, a session do you have? Okay, so you have anything from 15 ladies to up to 35. 35 is a dual trainer thing, but okay. up to, 50, uh, to up to 35. What's basically. a dual trainer? So if you have 35 women in a group, then you need two trainers to train because it's two quite a... Two certified springboard trainers, trainers to okay. do it, yes. But I mean, most of my groups have been up to 20 to 25. So I manage that pretty well, alhamdulillah. Okay, yeah. and this uh, you you feel it fits very well with you because you go through challenges in your life, yeah, and then you sort of relate that in a learning context yeah. to these women, yeah, and yeah. then you felt that after the program, after yeah. the four session per se, yeah, you see they've changed drastically. Big, and as I said to you, I mean, from some of them first session, some second, third, uh, some of them even a year or two, because maybe it's not what they're going through at that time, but then they remember, you know, I've done this. This is how it feels. This is what I need to do. Okay. Yeah. And Springboard is not just four sessions. We also have inspirational speakers. So we invite speakers. So they hear from them uh, the stories. They are part of uh, meaningful projects, which help them a lot. Uh, there's this wonderful, fantastic workbook, which has real stories as well and exciting exercises. But the success of every program is the women who are in it. Mashallah. Because we complete each other. Every woman has a powerful story. And I always say, every person has a story. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, every so woman who stands there and talks, I learn something from them. And we learn from each other. I, I really respect. And you create a family as well. Absolutely. So, so it's like Al, Al Springboard. Al Springboard. So you have Al Shaili, Al Marwani. So, I, so this is Al Springboard 12 or Al Springboard 13, you know. So you, you have some WhatsApp group and so on. Yeah, yeah. You, yes, you do that yes, as well. Of wow, course, wow of that's course, good. Eh? Of course, yeah. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. And, uh, and then, then do you meet up with them of and you course, communicate with yes, them after I mean, the program? I've got lifelong friends from Springboard. We okay. have got that bonding, you yeah. know, and we are in sync. Okay. Yeah. How, how can people uh, uh, join the Springboard program? Well, they can register through British Council mm -hmm. and British Council then uh, gets in contact with the licensed trainers who are mm -hmm. able to do it. It's preferable that it's in groups because it's not really a one-to-one -one training. But is it possible to do a one-to-one -one as well? well because why I'm saying that because you mentioned it. Actually, you know, one-to-one -one would be mentoring and coaching, but not springboard as such, which I do. I do. Okay. I, I'm an NLP uh, coach okay. and I also do hypnosis, so I okay. can actually do that. So they can contact me in my email, which uh, we can pass or phone. Okay, yeah, yeah. what's your email? You don't mind sharing it, so at uh, least people think yes, of course. contact you as well. Yes, of course. It's Aisha Al-Shu'ayli for at gmail.com. Okay, so that is your email account and that's where people can reach. Do you have a website? Do you have a social media account that people can reach? I'm in well? LinkedIn as well as Aisha Shaili. Okay. okay. And I'm also on Instagram as, uh, you know, Aisha Shaili or Big Sis to Inspire is my name actually in uh, Instagram. I, I like that. It's a Big Six, Big Mama as well. Yes, Big Mama, Big Sis to Inspire. That's my address. <laughs> <laughs> who is your role model now and people who motivate you? It would be nice to know you are motivating people, mm. you are inspiring women, you have, I know a number of females that w you both, and, you and I have relation with, who speak very high about you, by the way, Alhamdulillah. mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, and some of the people who, are, when I posted you on the social media, they sent me messages, some of them private messages, they're all looking forward to it. So now, they find you a, a, a role model, a motivator, I, I, I like you too, by the Thank way. You. So Thank you. So, tell me about you. Who are your role models? Who are the people that you motivate? I mean, uh, this is a very, very difficult question, but you shouldn't laugh, okay? I have my yeah. own reason for that. I love Queen Latifah. Wow, big mama! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm laughing because it's a big mama, but, but, but why, did you t uh, why, did you, why did you tell me not laugh? <laughs> uh, because, I, you know, you would, uh, I would say maybe, uh, you know, Margaret Thatcher or, you know, I don't know, uh, Mother Trees or something, but yeah. I like uh, Queen Latifah. No, I like it. Yeah. But why would Queen Latifah? But she's she's good at his own. Uh, she is, yeah. you know, even with her, you know, look at her. She's full of confidence. She doesn't she care is, yeah. what people think. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. to me, she's a complete picture of confidence. And there are lots of other people and other women who uh, demand respect, and I do respect them. But I see myself in her. Yeah. You know, it's not the yo-yo. 
Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. attitude is just that I don't care. Yeah. You know, I am who I am. You love me, you hate me. It's up to you. But yeah. I love myself. I like that. I respect <laughs> that. I see a bit of that in you, by the way. <laughs> mashallah. Very, very positively. You're very energetic, mashallah. You're very strong, and you also impact people. Does Queen Latifah does that as well? Absolutely. I'm, I'm sure you read about her biography. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, there was this movie where she was uh, by mistake uh, diagnosed with cancer. Okay. So she goes and blows all her, you know, money. Okay. She goes to Paris and all that stuff. You know, I okay. would do something like that. What is the name of the movie? <laughs> can't remember now. Uh, share it with me when you find it. Yes, I'm, of I'm, course. I look forward. Yeah. Uh, but who's motivating you? Is it also Queen Latifah? I mean, she's your role model, but does she motivate you? Not every, really. every woman that I see motivate me. Mashallah. Every yeah. woman that I see, I learn something. Because, okay. I mean, they are really my power. And when I see their success, I know I have done something. Okay, mashallah, I respect it. I know, I know one of the callers has asked this question, but probably I'm going to ask the question again. Uh, if you have anything else you want to add is, is what are your future plans and goals? Personally, you, you, are, you are now uh, 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 a springboard trainer and that's what you do. You work at creating and building winning women. Uh, what is your future plans? Well, I am actually a full-time mother and I'm a full-time, uh, I work full-time in an organization. But I do want to uh, eventually have my own business and just move on. There's uh, a lot of women need help, and I believe uh, I can help them in any form and way possible, uh, whether uh, like a sister or like a mother, you know, whatever form they want me to be, uh, I'll be there. Uh, those are uh, my inspiration, inshallah, for future to make a difference. And since I know my purpose already, uh, I'm already working on it. I mean, I do a lot Inshallah. of uh, freelance work already. I host events, I train, and I will continue doing that until I am able to do it. But, uh, you know, in terms of uh, tips, going back to tips very, very quickly, <coughs> my biggest inspiration have really, really been my friends. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. Really, my friends. I mean, my friends and true, you know, real friends, if you fall down, they will laugh at you first and then they will help you up. You know, those are the real friends. And yeah, I have yeah. those and I love them. You know, yeah. real friends will tell you your trousers look like a pajama. Please don't walk with me outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, don't do that. Don't embarrass me. Real friends would also uh, not sometimes they won't express themselves that much. But if something is hurting you, they will actually digest that information, look at you and tell you that don't worry, we will grow all together. We don't need anybody, you know. Yeah. Real friends, uh, it doesn't matter whether they're here or across uh, the country. And everybody I'm talking about right now really know themselves. They have played a big, big role in my, in my life. Uh, they've inspired me in many, many ways. Um, they have believed in me. Yeah. And uh, I'm really, really proud to have them in my life. Mashallah, and I'm sure they too are proud to have you uh, in their life, uh, Aisha. Thank you very much for joining us today on Oman Radio FM 90.4 to share with us about your successful journey and challenges that you had and how you are using that as... Uh, 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 as a reason to create also more winning uh, women, inshallah. inshallah. Uh, and I wish you the very best. I, I can see that in you, by Thank the you. way, and I talk all the best. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to wish you all the very best and success in all you do. We had an intriguing session today. Let us catch up again next week. Ma'as-salama.